Is it dangerous to heat food in microwave or is it just a myth? To find out the science-based answer to this question, keep watching. Hey guys, this is your pharmacist Sidra and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist, which is all about health, pharmacy and beauty. So if this interests you, keep watching and subscribe for more. So microwave ovens, some people love them, others hate them. But nearly everyone owns one because they're exceptionally useful and convenient to reheat food. So some people think a microwave is dangerous for health because it can cause cancer. But the question is, is it really unhealthy and dangerous? Well, stay tuned because I've got you the answer. So scientifically, microwaves are kitchen gadgets that turn electricity into electromagnetic waves called microwaves. These waves can stimulate molecules in food, making them vibrate, spin around, and clash with each other, which turns the energy into heat. You know, think of it similar to how your hands heat when you rub them together. So the way microwaves work is that they primarily affect water molecules, but they can also heat up fats and sugars, just, I would say, to a lesser extent than water. Since microwaves produce electromagnetic radiations, a lot of people find it concerning because in general, when we talk about radiations, the first thing that comes to our mind is like x-ray radiations, um, nuclear or atomic radiations, which are actually very destructing. But do you realize that just like microwave, light is also electromagnetic radiation? We are in light all the time. Never even once we talk about not using light thinking that it's harmful. So clearly, not all radiations are bad. Now, I'm not saying that microwaves are human friendly. You know, just like fire can cook or heat your food, but burn you if you get in contact with it. Similarly, microwaves can be absorbed by your body and can heat up the body tissues in the same way as it can heat your food. So keeping that in mind, microwaves are designed in a way that microwaves are easily blocked by the uh, metal screens so that these rays cannot escape and reach you. But just to be on the safe side, don't press your face against the microwave window just to take a peek at your food. I would say stay at a distance of at least one foot from microwave to avoid getting any exposure of the waves. Some people think that food heated in microwave absorb radiation. Now, that's not true at all. The food cooked in microwave does not become radioactive and has the same nutrient value as food heated on stove. The main difference is that microwave energy penetrates deeper into your food and reduces the time needed for the heat conduction throughout the food. Now, you may have noticed that the food heated in microwave is not evenly heated. And I understand that could be concerning because the rate of heating in microwave really depends on the uh, power of the microwave, the water content, um, the density and amount of food being heated. And mind you, microwave energy does not penetrate well in thicker particles of food and may produce uneven cooking. Now, unevenly cooked or heated food definitely has health risk because the food probably um, did not get enough heat to kill dangerous microorganisms. And that's why I recommend that when cooking or heating in microwave, do not take out the food right away once the microwave stops. Just let your food sit in for a minute because that would allow the heat to evenly distribute throughout the food and your food won't be unevenly heated. <laughs> people wonder whether microwaving food destroys the nutrients in our food so a simple answer is yes but it's not any different than losing nutrient value of some of your vegetables and proteins by heating them on a stove just keep in mind the type of food uh, nutrients uh, cooking time and temperature because all of these factors matter whether you're cooking in a microwave or using a conventional stove to heat for example, a study showed that microwaving or baking vegetables preserved their nutrients the best while boiling or pressure cooking actually destroyed the nutrients. 
Now, there is another study that showed that just one minute of microwaving um, destroyed the cancer-fighting components of garlic, while this took about 45 minutes to destroy the cancer-killing uh, nutrients of garlic in a conventional cooking. You know, so it really kind of depends. Um, let me share another study because this study showed that microwaving destroyed 97% of good nutrients in broccoli while boiling uh, destroyed only 66%. So really, these are some of the exceptions that I think you should consider when picking a battle between microwave and a regular stove. But in general, I would say with a few exceptions, microwave tends to preserve nutrients very well. In fact, you'll be surprised to know that uh, vitamins and nutrients are preserved better when heated in microwave. And this is because microwave heats your food really quick because of which the food has uh, kind of less time to lose the nutrients. Now, one thing that we hear a lot is that do not use plastic containers in microwave. And that's absolutely true. It's not a myth and you must absolutely not use plastic containers to heat food in microwave. And here's why. Plastic contains chemical called thylates and BPA, which seep into uh, the food when plastic container is heated. Now, you may be wondering why add thylates in plastic? Because thylates actually uh, help plastic be more flexible, but you know, it could be harmful to our body. Studies have shown that these compounds like thylates and BPA can actually uh, disrupt our hormones and metabolic system, increasing the risk of insulin resistance, infertility, and asthma. So while heating food in microwave, stay away from plastic. I recommend using a ceramic or glass container. Now, if for some reason you don't have a ceramic or glass container available and you have to use the plastic, then make sure uh, you use the one which clearly states that it's microwave safe. Now let's talk about the downsides of microwave. Although microwaves are very convenient and quick, yet there are some downsides like uneven heat distribution due to which the food may be undercooked and lead to um, food poisoning. So I really recommend that uh, use a microwave with turntable as that can really help distribute heat evenly and help kill the microorganisms in food. Also, it's important that when heating liquids, there is a possibility of liquid overheating and spilling or just explode out of the container and may burn you. So I suggest that buy microwave safe food covers because they can help avoid the splatter and also keep the inside of the microwave safe and your microwave wouldn't get messy. Now, one thing to remember that never ever place any metal wares or containers coated with any metal layer in microwave because of the risk of spark and explosion. Just be cautious, some of the ceramics and teapots I've noticed have a layer of uh, metal on their edges and that could really ignite the spark. All right, so this is it for today's video. Well, now you know there's no evidence that microwave can cause harm. In fact, evidence suggests that microwaves are better than the conventional method of heating food. To summarize, I would say make sure you don't overcook or undercook your food in microwave. Uh, do not stand too close to microwave and do not use any plastic container unless it clearly states that it's microwave safe. You know, what I really think is the only unhealthy thing about microwave is the meals that you buy at the supermarket that you actually cook in microwave because they're high in fat and salt content, which is not good for you. So eat those microwave meals in moderation and just eat them as a treat food. Well, I've got to say that after I did my research on microwave, I was really relieved that uh, microwave isn't bad because this is what we've been hearing all the time and, it, and it's pretty much all myth. So I'm glad that now I can use my microwave guilt-free and be grateful how convenient it has made our lives. Anyways, thank you so much for making it till the end of this video. I hope you found it informative. Don't forget to like and share this video with your friends and family to spread awareness and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on new videos on health, pharmacy, and beauty. Until next time, take care. Bye.